Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, and it is a sky with tremendous possibility, tremendous promise, and it is all because of eclipse season. Right around the third is when we are going to have the first of two eclipses. This is going to open up a portal that the ancients said was a time when the veil between the worlds was especially thin. So on the one hand, the ancients thought this was a time that it became that much easier to access the wisdom of the ancestors, but also the power of the ancestors as well. Uh, there's a lot of writing that says that this was a time when it was said that our most uh, magical workings could be especially effective. So that's something to keep in mind. If it is that you are so inclined to bring in an element of magic, they'll be well supported for you now. This first eclipse is happening at the very top of your sky, a part of the sky that has to do with career, social standing, life purpose. It has to do with a connection to a sense of destiny for your life. And it is at this time that new opportunities could find you very much by surprise. Now, there are a few things to keep in mind with this energy though. On the one hand, yes, there's all this promise at this time, thanks to Neptune. We've got this beautiful, harmonious Neptunian energy that's saying it really can feel like a time when a dream comes true, which is beautiful, which you should uh, embrace and be excited about. But what we also have is Saturn standing across the sky from this eclipse, which says that there may be some pressure. There might feel as if there's some power dynamic playing out, perhaps with a member of your family of origin. I'm sorry to say it does happen, but it is part of what will fuel your focus and fuel your determination. If it feels like you want to go a new way, do something new, it may be that uh, part of what you are having to address is your own messages, maybe childhood messages that tell you whether or not you can make this change, whether uh, you're worthy, whether it's appropriate to go the way it is that you feel inspired to go. But I would say when it's an eclipse, it is karmic. And you know when it is that fate is stepping in to grant you a new opportunity. And it does look like some opportunity is truly big and truly beautiful and actually exciting and inspiring. Now, as we navigate two weeks later, right around the 18th is when we are going to have the lunar eclipse. And this is a powerful one. Boy, is it ever. It is one with a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion to it. This eclipse will be happening hand in hand with Saturn. The south node is close by, Pluto is close by as well. And this configuration will be speaking in harmony with Neptune as well, but it's a little bit different. The energy of Saturn and Pluto are really powerful. They are really intense. They ask you to not only focus, but might not really give you a choice. It's like, you've got to look at this direction. And this is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with home and family of origin and your past. Now, for some, it's going to feel like a time when your interaction with your family is what is causing some very strong feelings to arise for you. Uh, for others, it can be a sense of where you need to make a change on the home front. Uh, buying, selling, moving, new roommate, these types of situations can come up at this time. But remember, the change that is happening, even if it stirs strong emotion, it is moving you in a more inspired direction. It is empowering you to cultivate faith and to cultivate almost like a creative spirit and to be excited about your future. Yes, sometimes it may feel as if the changes that are happening now, well, sometimes it feels like we didn't choose these changes, but even if that is the case, it can be a time when you realize, sometimes quickly, sometimes not as quick as you would like, but you may realize how what is transpiring now is actually good 
and moving you in a better, more prosperous, more rewarding direction. Now, I would also add this energy can play out powerfully if you work from home or with homes. That can be an area to watch as well. And it is more work related opportunity now that can be part of what helps you to create a power base right where you are at home. Now, where it comes to matters of love, Venus will spend most of the month in this foundational part of the sky, which tells me that there is also love there, okay? And there's blessings and there is happiness. And so regardless of what is transpiring, know that part of what is happening is to help you to open up greater blessings in your life. But where it comes to romantic love, for those of you open to meeting someone new, this is one strong indicator of connecting with someone that you knew way back when, way in your past, and feeling a sense of awareness and renewal in the love that you had. Now, how that translates into the present moment, well, there is gonna be at least one real reality check for you that tells you whether or not it could work. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, if you've just started dating someone, um, this is gonna be a chance to really know their past a little bit more deeply, to understand your own past and how it's fueling this moment as you learn about this new person. Now, for some, it is going to be uh, what you learn that endears you to this person that much more. For others, maybe, might be a deal breaker. For those of you who are in an established bond, it really is about creating a sacred space at home right where you are, closing the door, feeling that sense of safety between the two of you. Yes, you are an air sign. You like to understand on a mind level. However, there are times when just feeling the connection is enough and you will be feeling that sense of commitment and connection to your partner that much more in your quietest moments. What I love about this month for you, well look, it's the eclipses, really, right? Of course, what else could it be? But I'm gonna say that solar eclipse. I am so excited about that for you. Yes, there might be an uncomfortable moment that helps you to own your power to change to align, to propel you into your future, but you are headed in that very direction. It is inspired and it's amazing how Providence may step in now to lead you forward, really almost like on a cloud towards some opportunity that feels truly beautiful and right and that you are ready for. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.